got Flappy Bird withdrawal? Do you ache all over since it was removed from the App Store? Do you find yourself poking birds at the zoo just to see if you can get them to flap? Of course you don't, because it was the most annoying game in the world. And Flappy Bird was only removed from the App Store. Anybody who wanted it probably already downloaded it. So the fact that people were trying to sell phones online for thousands is ridiculous. I actually like to think of myself as a bit of a Flappy Bird connoisseur. Look at that, 157. There can't be anyone in the world with a score as high as that. Are you kidding me? Do these people have no life? Has its removal set them free? Or do they now play one of the many, many Flappy Bird rip-offs? And yes, I am aware that Flappy Bird itself was a complete rip-off. There are plenty of Flappy Bird wannabes in the App Store for those who didn't get chance to waste their life getting frustrated at the original. So let's take a look at what you can play to beat away that Flappy Bird withdrawal. Splashy fish. Not a rip-off because it's a fish. Oh, actually it is because the fish is almost identical to the ones from Mario. Still, it plays okay. City Bird has to fly through skyscrapers hanging from clouds to collect turds. The animation's not bad on this one, so it's worth a look. Jetpack Turtle. The frame rate on this makes me think I'm actually watching a Lego stop motion film on YouTube. Also, I can't get past the fact that it's very clearly a Ninja Turtle wearing a jetpack. Plus, it's far too easy. Flappy Pig. So, you control a hover pig who actually travels through Nyan Cat's farts. I could forgive it for that if it wasn't for the barrage of ads sometimes while playing. Iron Pants. This was Flappy Bird's biggest competition at the time. It's insanely difficult and makes me want to kill small animals. Flying Cyrus. Ah, kill it! To its credit, it is the most original, but I do have to ask why it exists. People who hate Miley Cyrus won't want to play it, and people who like her won't want to play it because it makes fun of her. So guess what? I don't want to play it either. Plus, it's too hard. Happy Wings has potential, even if the graphics are even more similar to Super Mario. And for some strange and unexplained reason, the little bird keeps dumping turds everywhere. It is worth a quick go, purely for the comedy value. Flappy Devil is just the worst thing on this earth. It's unwinnable. Seriously, look at this. Not only do you have to tap in a specific place on the screen, the gaps are hilariously small. Play this and I dare you not to turn it off straight away. I could forgive Flappy Megafish's terrible frame rate if it wasn't for the unfathomably slow way it ascends meaning that some obstacles are unavoidable. Avoid. Flappy Duck, or as I like to call it, Minecraft, the Flappy Bird mod. Look at the ground, look at the TNT. Even the game's logo has a creeper in it. It isn't trying to hide its influences. Aside from that, it's not too bad. Flappy Fly. Ugh, I'm getting sick of saying Flappy. It's just the worst. The background doesn't move, the obstacles look like they were done in Microsoft Paint, and it doesn't ascend quick enough. Avoid like the plague. Flappy Swim is the most depressing, because I don't want to make a penguin cry, especially not one wearing such snazzy swimming trunks. And for some reason he launches himself at the start and then slows down. Happy Eagle likes to be different because it's in landscape. You also hold the screen and not tap it, and you fly between giant turds. Or at least try to, it's bloody hard. Flybird, aka a straight port of Flappy Bird, seriously, it even has the exact same sprite there, although the bird you control has gained a few pounds. It is one of the easier ones though. The imaginatively named dragon isn't bad, I just have no idea what that's meant to be. Is it a dragon or a pufferfish? Whatever it is, it makes the earth shudder when you crash. Happy monster is... yeah, broken. Flying pork, just another run-of-the-mill rip-off until you realise that you die before you even hit the ground. Pass. Flappy nerds is a funny name because it rhymes, right? Too bad it's just a bird wearing glasses and a bow tie. He glides too much and passes through the pipes. I wouldn't bother with it. Happy Angel, where you move your gurning angel pal through yet another Mario landscape. Snooze. Last but not least, Flappy Poo, because poo equals funny, I guess. 
This is also the only one which costs to download. And do you know the ironic thing about that? It is the worst one by far. It's uncontrollable. He either goes too little or too far, making it near impossible to progress. I was playing it for about 15 minutes and the furthest I got was to five. And if you don't touch anything, he just sits there on the floor as happy as Larry. Look at him. Sat there. Shut up. There we are, a bunch of okay, bad and downright awful Flappy Bird ripoffs. If you don't have the original, and best, then your best alternative is either Splashy Fish or Flybird. But if you want my honest opinion, spare your sanity and delete them all!